Hey there guys and girls, Bryper90 here, and today we're adventuring in Terra. Yay! Okay, so I started Terra, playing Terra a couple of weeks ago, but, you know, I figured I might as well just stop playing this while I'm still playing Secret World. Okay, gotta turn that down. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, Derek. I think I remember his name. Yep, took a hiatus to play Battlefield. <sighs> okay. Where's my mouse? There it is. Oh yeah, destructor. I remember destructor. All right. So as you can see, I am a lancer, which is in the game a heavy type. So essentially, I'm just a tank. Although I don't really tank all that often. So, so far into the game, I'm doing pretty well. And I'm a level 20, so I can kill most things pretty quickly. And I don't necessarily have to block lesser creatures such as this. You disgust me. Alright, so, what I have noticed about this game is, <laughs> of all the things, keep an eye off the swimwear, okay, oh yeah, that reminds me, if you are a player of Terra and you haven't noticed, Um, sorry, I'm getting distracted by this guy. Um, I completely forgot what I was saying. Alright, all right, so let's start talking about this game before the server shut down and I had to stop recording the video. Alright, so the game is gorgeous. I mean, look at this. Look at all that. I'm running this game on max spec, so you know, you can tell that some of the textures aren't quite there. If you were to go to options. Do -do 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 -do. Go to audio, sorry, no, audio. If you go to video, you can see that all the things have been automatically leveled. Pretty much to the highest level you can possibly get. Yep. That was weird. Yep. Okay, Coolio. That character is not online. Your brokerage have you have brokerage accounts to settle, alright? Let's go find a broker. Is that a broker? No, that's a banker. Damn it. Alright, so this game is phenomenal. I love this game. I've been playing it for a couple weeks now. It's a lot better than well, in my opinion anyway, it's a lot better than Secret World because the combat is just so much better. I mean, I just can't get over how good the combat is. Also, because I really like the characters. And also, because this part's pretty cool, too. Flying through the air Seeing that I don't give a care I'm on a pegasus, so your argument is invalid. And there's my singing. So... You know, giving you a full view of the whole area. So, alright now. First up, so before, I'll just keep letting you watch all this as we go in. Cause look at that. That looks fucking fantastic. Fucking boring. Alright, so. Game's a bit glitchy at the moment. Um, so, so far, I can give you five good points and five bad points. One good point, the graphics are amazing. The character design is great. That's point number two, sorry. Point number three, I'm getting kind of a decent understanding of what the Van Ark system is. And it's quite interesting. It doesn't actually affect your gameplay. It more or less affects the stores in that area. Number four, the city designs. And well, you're about to see the, one of the main cities, Velika, soon enough. So that's another great city so you'll see that the city designs are fantastic and five the combat is brilliant 
I mean, I mostly just have to use the left and right click to block and attack, so, you know. Yeah, what's not to love about that? It's so much better than just smashing hotkeys like Diablo. And this is Velika. And that's the Velika city right over there. Pretty cool, huh? Mm. So normally my computer, which has got only limited specs, is decent. I can run Skyrim on high spec, but it's decent. Can normally run this about 50, probably about 30 frames per second. Although at the moment, for some reason, the frame rate has plummeted because of Bandicam. Thank you, Bandicam. So yeah, as you can see, the graphics are fantastic. The only thing I would say is a bad thing. Ah, uh, stuff. Who's on? Who do I know? Is stuff. Who's on? Why do I know that name? I oh, know I get. I oh, know. All right. Now, so number one thing is the guild system. I'm not very familiar with how guilds work, but so far I've been in one guild and left it because you know different issues. But it's not necessarily an easy guild system to get a hold of, even for me. Okay. Another thing is. The amount of players that are in at one moment. So, jeez, server really does need to be updated. Um, so far there is no lag, and another the third bad point I have to say is the amount of players that you encounter. Number four is that sometimes when the five minutes, Jesus Christ, five minutes. Okay, so I got five minutes. I'm gonna get these last two points out. The final five minutes are the character models that don't always pop in at the right time. And number five is sometimes, depending on who you're playing with, there's a pretty bad ba ma bad of lag. But that's like one of the rare occurrences, and it's only when you actually are playing with someone across seas. But even then, most of the time, it's actually really good. Okay. Trade broker. Get in here. So I'm going to, have to redo another video for this. But it is nice. I made a gold. Yay! Awesome. I made a gold. I made a gold. That's actually the sorry. That's the fifth but bad point I've got to make is the gold system. Now, mostly you get about twenty or so silver per mission, but at the moment. Oh no, I'm not particularly enjoying it too much. I'll figure out the gold system later on anyway when I th once I start doing some decent missions, but yeah. Also, if any of you pick up the game, I would recommend getting the Digital Deluxe because it gives you access to this. Bam. Look at that son of a bitch. He is gorgeous. Also, I can do this. Why don't you roll? Make a noise. There you go. So yeah, I named him Snoop. Anyway, so I'm going to cut this very short video short because apparently the servers are going down soon. So this is just a little taste of what Terra is. You know, I didn't make a really good point in terms of talking, but as you can see, the game is quite gorgeous. And this is just one of the main cities. You can go wandering around outside the city. So if I were to head outside the main gates, you'll get to see a whole entire plains which you can explore to your heart's content. I'm going to see if I can try to find it before the server shut down. But... If not... Come on, move faster. Move faster, lion! Jump. Jump. So as you can see, there's... The, I've gotten my um, whole setup of my screen. The mission's down the one right side and the map on the left hand side. The chat window is in the bottom left hand side, and the compass is in the. Do, 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 do. Wait, what? Oh, wait. I'm in the completely the wrong area. Damn it. Um, and yeah, compass is top right. I'm not sure who Star Fru's on is. Who do I know who Star Fru's on? Okay, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make it outside so I can show you guys, but. Just try, 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 That's cool. Didn't even notice those before. 
But yeah, the, c the city is highly detailed, and there's an item in item claim for you. Uh, of course. So, item claim. Quartermaster Corp Consumables. Okay. That's an oh oh okay. The goddess Valak. Alright, so this is gonna be the end of the video because apparently it's gonna shut down in one minute, so I hope you guys liked this little view of Terra. I'll be uploading this video somewhat after I finish playing the game. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.